all the time y'all tell me to make a different platform so that if youtube ever bans me you know where to go well i've made this kick it's a new streaming platform i think it's fun i'm currently streaming on it right now if you want to come follow and support yes it's kind of like twitch except it's green everybody likes green so come follow me link in the description pinned comment for now enjoy my stupidity you know everybody was just sitting back enjoying the weekend some of us were still recovering because our march madness predictions didn't work out and then all of a sudden cnn decides they want to stir the pot for no reason and try to have a discussion about something absolutely pointless because in this day and age you gotta make a mountain out of a molehill and you gotta complain about the most mundane things in order to get everybody to understand only certain groups can do one thing and you dirty dusty whites you can't do anything because you're all racist and evil. What's digital blackface and why is it wrong when white people use it? Maybe you shared that viral video of Kimberly Sweet Brown Wilkins telling a reporter after narrowly escaping an apartment fire, ain't nobody got time for that. Perhaps you posted that meme of supermodel Tyra Banks exploding in anger on America's top model, I was rooting for you, we were all rooting for you. Or maybe you simply posted popular gifts such as the one of NBA great Michael Jordan crying or of drag queen RuPaul declaring girl if you're black and you've shared such images online you get a pass obviously because you're black and you're a victim but if you're white you may have inadvertently perpetuated one of the most insidious forms of contemporary racism digital blackface what is digital blackface digital blackface is a practice where white people co-opt online expressions of black imagery slang catchphrases or culture to convey comic relief or express emotions these expressions what one commenter calls racialized reactions are mainstays in twitter feeds tiktok videos and instagram reels and are among the most popular internet memes digital blackface involves white people play acting at being black says lauren michelle jackson an author and cultural critic and in an essay for Teen Vogue, Jackson says the internet thrives on white people laughing at exaggerated displays of blackness, reflecting a tendency among some to see black people as walking hyperbole. And I just want to interject and let everybody know, if you look at the mainstays currently of famous internet people who are black, they are walking hyperboles that not just white people make fun of, black people make fun of. If you're still not sure how to define digital blackface, Jackson offers a guide. She says it includes displays of emotion stereotyped as excessive, so happy, so sassy, so ghetto, so loud. Our dial is on 10 all the time. Rarely are black characters afforded subtle traits or feelings. Many white people choose images of black people when it comes to expressing exaggerated emotions on social media, a burden that black people for some reason didn't ask for, she says. We are your sass, your nonchalance, your fury, your delight, your annoyance, your happy dance, your diva, your shade, your yes moments, the weight of reaction giffing period rest on our shoulders. No, it doesn't. It is online people using a five second clip of something that runs on a loop saying, yeah, this is my reaction to this stupid thing going on right now. There is nothing more. There is nothing less. Why is digital blackface wrong? Some may say posting a video of Sweet Brown saying, oh Lord Jesus, it's a fire. It's just for laughs. Why overthink it? Why give people yet another excuse for labeling white people racist in the most innocuous behaviors? I'm holding those same questions because why would anybody spend time getting mad at a random white person using a gif from some TV show or movie? And another question, why is somebody who's struggling with their own identity of being black because obviously he spends his time conflicted about being mixed complaining about white people to the point he has to make an article about it? Critics say digital blackface is wrong because it's a modern day repackaging of minstrel shows, a racist form of entertainment popular in the 1960s. Century, that's when white actors' faces darkened with burnt cork entertain audiences by playing black characters as bumbling, happy go lucky simpletons. The practice that continued in the 20th century on hit radio shows such as Amos and Andy. Put simply, digital blackface is 21st century minstrelsy. Historical blackface has never truly ended, and Americans have yet to actively confront their racist past to this day. In fact, minstrel blackface has emerged into 
even more subtle forms of racism that are now glorified all over the internet. Wong says that digital blackface is wrong because it culturally appropriates the language and expressions of black people for entertainment while dismissing the severity of everyday instances of racism black people encounter such as police brutality, job discrimination, and educational inequity. Because of course, when I'm on Twitter and I'm seeing people use GIFs, it's a reminder that black people always have to deal with the struggles of seeing a police officer or not being able to get a job or having to struggle in school. Because yes, those things are all equal for the dusty niggas in the world. Defining digital blackface isn't easy. No shit, this whole article has yet to do it in a proper way. In trying to define digital blackface, it depends on who you talk to. The standard for some is comparable to what one Supreme Court justice once said when asked his test for pornography. I know it when I see it. Okay, this guidance might help if a white person shares an image online that perpetuates stereotypes of black people as loud, dumb, hyperviolent, or hypersexual, they have entered digital blackface territory. And yet, with that definition, it's hard to figure out exactly what is and isn't digital blackface. This is the challenge that Elizabeth Holford faces. Holford, a brand designer, wrote an apologetic essay in 2020 about how she made a meme out of Wilkins, ain't nobody got time for that catchphrase, and sent someone a gift of the singer Beyonce repeating, I'm not bossy, I'm the boss. I've engaged in digital blackface. I've laughed at people of color on the news facing horrific crime and disaster and loss. I've appropriated black trauma as punchlines and peeled their faces off to put on my own and say what I can't say to make you laugh or just because it went viral. I would like to point out that a black person dying is not comparable to a gif of Beyonce saying she's a boss. I know we're all confused about the levels of what goes on in black society, but I wanna keep everybody in line knowing that somebody dying is not the same or even comparable to somebody using a gif of Beyonce. Holford tells CNN she was bothered that she overlooked the context of Sweet Brown's interview. The woman had just experienced a tragedy, a tragedy, mind you, many people, white, black, and other Otherwise, have exploited for their own benefit and laugh on social media, but again, only the whites are the problem. I guess we find it funny the way black people tell their story with so much flair, but at the end of the day, one woman's apartment building burning down while she was in bed. But Holford says that doesn't mean she won't use any more gifts of black people. She doesn't object to the Beyonce I'm the boss meme because she thinks it empowers women. She says that as long as the meme or gif is empowering and not demeaning, she feels free to use it. Those are the most effective because white people are so boring. Now, I'm not suggesting that white and non-black people refrain from ever circulating a black person's image for amusement or otherwise. There's no prescriptive or proscriptive step-by-step -step rule book to follow. Nobody's coming to take gifts away, but no digital behavior exists in a de-racialized vacuum, she says. A white person can spread digital blackface without malicious intent. Digital blackface does not describe intent, but an act. The act of inhabiting a black persona, employing digital technology to co-op perceived cachet or black cool to involves play acting blackness in a minstrel like tradition. No matter how brief the performance or playful the intent, summoning black images to play types means puriting on over 150 years of American blackface tradition. And for some reason, at the end of this entire stupid article, they bring up Sweet Brown and what happened to her afterwards and how she tried to sue Apple and some radio company. But you want to know the fun part about the end of this? They don't mention how the case was dismissed because not enough information was brought from Sweet Baby Brown. You have to mention that that lawsuit was dismissed because she didn't have enough documents to solidify whatever point she was trying to make. And if your goal with the article is to educate white people saying, while you're going around using these images of black people and laughing with all your buddies, these black people are suffering on the inside, which doesn't really make any sense if somebody is using an image of a famous person online, you're not really gonna think about who that is, you're gonna think about the reality 
reaction that they had. And if you don't understand that, you are going to potentially be sued by them. It is a dumb argument for you to make. And I understand people got to make something out of absolutely nothing. People got to complain about the most mundane things and think just because they posted online, nobody's allowed to criticize them. But just like this dude and many other people who post the exact same thing, you sound stupid. And to the white people in the back that say, they're right, I am someone who is evil. Sit your stupid ass down and post whatever you want. This is not something that's going to embarrass a lot of people. It's not something that hurts a lot of people. It's a small minority who seems to think that they speak for every single black person in the world. And I will tell you, as somebody who has existed on this planet for 23 years, and as of only maybe eight months ago, finally got registered in the life that is white privilege, I can tell you I am not hurt by anything a white person does, especially on the internet. So stupid people, stop being so stupid because I'm kind of getting sick actually from laughing at you so much. No one's hurt, no one's died, it's just Twitter, it's just Facebook, it's just Instagram. Get over it, stop thinking you're that important. Subscribe to the channel, follow me on Kick because I'm trying to get affiliate and I'll see y'all in the next one. Goodbye.